peace and quiet, light breeze. Beautiful, hello, welcome back. My name's Andrew and what a beautiful day it is. Blue skies, it's really warm. As a contrast from last week, of course. And no pellet burner on at the bus in the evenings for the last three nights. Does that mean spring's here? Oh, I really hope so. Anyway, let's have a look in the house and see where we're at through the bedroom door. There's a little bit of noise in the background because the tour of the Algarve cycle race is about to come through and I'll show you that in a second if I can catch them. But rocks, glorious rocks. These walls, they just keep on giving and boy are they giving because the hole isn't that huge but what I'm taking out just seems to be way more. I feel like I could build a house with the amount that's come out of there so far. Taken a load of them down to the well area already. This lot here I need to just bung them out there, need them out of the way because that wall, I really, really want that down this week so I can get a good feel. And I'm looking forward to pushing it. This view out here is gonna be the, uh, the window that I'll be peering out when I'm doing the editing of my videos. Don't wanna rush time away, but I'm looking forward to that. That's a great view. Nearly who you may have noticed that uh, I didn't do a video last week here. Yeah. Bike buses, three in a row. I managed to do my back in, it hadn't healed, I've been taking it easy. I then cracked the screen on the tablet, which is what I do my editing on, and then the camera decided it was gonna give me low, low res images, so I've had to sort all of that out, and I guess, well, I'm gonna have to listen to the universe, and if I wanna improve my videos, as I do, that's my goal for this year, is to get them as good as I possibly can, given the content, I guess, so maybe this is a fresh start for me. Anyway, last week was grim anyway, like anyway, 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 lots of anyways. It was really grim and I did do a little bit of videoing of the guys, what they were doing. So I'm gonna show you that now, then you'll rejoin me and hopefully we'll get that cycle tour, the Algarve in, in a moment. tour of the Algarve, that was always fun to see. And it's nice to also see these yellow colors coming up. That's a sign, spring is on its way. It's a lovely warm day today. Oh, how different it is from the last couple of weeks. Now I'm only comparing it to the usual Algarve weather, but it did feel very dreary and I could feel I was slumping with it, especially with what I did to my back. So to get this warmth and blue skies back is a really good feeling. 
these rocks here, I'll take them down to the well area, but I'm not going to carry on with that until tomorrow because I want to rest my back as much as possible, take gaps in between moving these rocks. Obviously, there's a lot of them and some of them are quite heavy. Takes a little bit of energy. But now that this room's cleared out, gives us an opportunity, hopefully very, very soon, next day or two to knock that wall down. Can't wait for that. I'm also sensing at this point in time because the guy started on the 9th of um, December last year and it's only been what two and a bit months or so and there's only a few more weeks to go but I'm already sensing a little lack drop sorry not lack of uh, morale at the moment so I need to just boost Jean as much as I possibly can now what normally happens is is when you give a job to someone halfway through they disappear and take on another job but I was very clear on this one that there's no way that's going to happen they start here they finish here then they go off to wherever they're going and it's very easy when something takes longer than a few weeks or so to get a little bit bored of it and that's where I come into play and that's where I like to do most of the things myself and of course when it is your own project it's easy to keep the morale up uh, but if I do get bored of anything I just stop and get on with something else and come back to it so I can be doing lots of different things and that just keeps the energy going but with these guys here no they've got to continue until it's done so it is starting to take shape in here now the walls are starting to be tidied up a little bit they're not going to finish that completely because I'll be taking over on it, but they're just getting them to a certain finish level. Seeing the uh, door area there, the patio door area there is a oh, such a relief. It feels really good. And when everything's cleaned up in here, it's going to take on a whole new lease of life and I can get very excited about it. With this uh, entrance here, you see where the acro is. It was a little bit wider than that originally with an arch on it. That arch was put in at another date, a later date. So it's not original. It's not part of the original build of the house. And when it comes to arches, I think Roman arches, if they are there for a purpose and so on, like holding things up, then I really like them. But in this case with this, I wasn't entirely sure. We see, I can always add something back in, but if the guys had put an arch in there and it wasn't the right curve, it didn't feel right to me then obviously it's a lot of effort to take it down and redo it whereas this way just squaring it off if i put one in then i can do it myself but at the moment i'm liking having everything squared off and of course this house is a very square house so i kind of like keeping it a certain way but i can add to it don't want to remove things that's the key this area here the door is a lot wider now it doesn't look it but it is a good foot or so wider than it was before and of course as with the other one it's just letting more light in so down there is going to be the pantry area over there walk-in shower toilet sink and so on and in there the kitchen leading out to the back patio so i'm already starting to think of ideas seeing that wall coming down in the next day or two that will make my life a lot easier to visualize it because when that's been taken down on this wall on the left because this room is going to be the bedroom door with a uh, a bedroom door it's going to be the bedroom with a door and here i'm going to have a hole going through into that room on the other side there and that's going to be like a wardrobe area walking wardrobe and i want to put a bath in there and at the moment that's where i'm pretty much doing everything it's a, a little bit tight but i'm gonna to have to get everything out of there because there will be a mess very soon so it's all starting to pull together we'll go up on a roof during the course of this week in the meantime, I'm going to switch off and carry on tomorrow down by the uh, well area and hopefully I can get that wall started and I really want to get that whole area down there completely finished by the time the guys are finished here. A little bit of a rest in between and then I can crack on. One of my markers 
I haven't found them all and bit by bit I will and I have to put my initials on there. Those are the previous owners at the moment. And I'm showing you that because I just put a stake in the ground one and a half meters in from that. So we're gonna go up to where the other post is and it will all make sense. There's my line, one and a half meters in. Now you'll see there, I'd actually put a row of stones. That's marking my boundary a little bit in this way. I realized I had a digital format topographic survey, which I put over the top of Google Earth. And I was able to walk along here and I could see a little blue marker where I'm standing. It's within an inch or so, it's quite amazing. I used that first marker just to line it all up, just to make sure it was accurate. And uh, yeah, just line them up. But you can see now why I wanted to put the string in there. As it's going to be quite close to the fence i didn't want it at an angle i want it to be nice and parallel just a visual thing Should we drink the water? Should we go get the drink of water? <clears throat> oh no. Yeah. Get your drink of water. What beautiful boys out there. Gorgeous they are. Yeah, this bank, that's pretty tough. I thought after all that rain that we had, it would soften up a little bit, but oh no. I'm gonna have to take my time on this. I'm not gonna rush it. I've got to be very careful at the moment. I'll come back to it tomorrow and hopefully we'll get a bit of wall up this week. It is what it is at the end of the day. Um, now, I'm not after any sympathy at all on any level. Don't get me wrong at all. But I've just been back up to the house. I've got a thick skin, by the way. Gee, oh, I went up to the house. I read a comment only an hour or so old. And it was in the last video saying, I need to up my game. You've missed yet another video. And I'll be coming back in six months time and see if you've actually done anything. And I won't subscribe until I see that. And, uh, uh, well, my first thought was fuck off if I'm being honest with you. Um, I don't care about people like that, but I guess I'm in a bit of pain. So I'm feeling a little bit tetchy right now. Last week, I spent most of it lying on my blasted back because I'd done it in. 
Now, this goes back quite a way, and a lot of people will understand this. From 17 years old, I was sat at a desk for nearly 30 years, 70 hour weeks regularly. And half of that time I was on a computer looking out a window at a brick wall in a city. <sighs> yeah, did my back no good at all. In fact, now I've got an awful posture and I've been trying to rectify that since I've been out here, strengthening my back, strengthening my mind, getting on with things, making me a better person and feeling proud of myself. And so when I started my YouTube channel, I'm back again on a little iPad editing my videos six, seven days a week, two and a half years, 153 videos, by the way. And uh, then some little scrope decides to tell me I need to up my game. It really is quite annoying. Um, I'm hoping now, because I bought a computer, that I can, when the guys are finished, it looks like two and a half weeks, I can set up properly and then I can really start looking after my back again. I have someone who's helping me out. You know who you are. Thank you very much. And uh, it's getting better. I just need to work on a few things. And going forward, I'll be uh, making sure overall that physically I'm in good shape. And that is the beauty of doing what I'm doing. But everything I'm doing here is part of a journey. The end result is neither here nor there to me, really. Uh, I want to just embrace it, enjoy it and take in what's going on here and I'm hoping that comes across in my videos which brings me on to the next point because that person she said to me you know you you look natural you're being yourself but I know you swear a little bit more and uh and I thought yeah if I'm going to continue with my videos and be as honest as possible I'm trying to be respectful for people who are watching my videos uh try not to blaspheme I know people are you know quite touchy about that and um I don't put my points of view and opinions out on most things i've got strong opinions on stuff but i keep them well to one side no one wants to hear it i'm just trying to keep things jolly and and just going at a pace and they will be what they will be a lot of people can say they are inspired a lot of people just want to watch the blue skies or interested in what i'm doing with the house and the renovation work and uh well each to their own but i I will be improving as things go on, hopefully with the computer as well. Now I've got a better version of the software, so I'm hoping that will improve it. But, um, you know, things are what they are. And uh, thank you all so much for watching, by the way. And I love the comments, but occasionally I get a little bit touchy um, because it's not necessary. And I know everyone's free to say what they want to say, but I'm also free to say back what I want. And I'm going to be swearing a bit more now. I'll try and keep it as low as possible, but I want to keep it natural. I don't swear in between each word, by the way. It's just occasionally it's a way of expression, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway. Good boys. Right, sit. Chris, sit. Stay. Good boys. Oh. The more I come up here now, since the roof has been put on, the more I'm loving it. It's such a good, usable space. At the beginning of the video, you saw that rainbow. That was on uh, last weekend, I think it was. I was just getting into the van. I saw it through the tree, so I dashed up on the roof to capture it. The left-hand side was coming out of the barrage. And talk about living in my own bubble. It was spectacular. It's a shame I couldn't quite capture it as well as I'd wanted to on the old camera. Then I tried to pan in on it and follow it around, but seeing it in the flesh was a whole different thing, but still beautiful to witness. So up here, there wasn't a lot done last week because of the weather. Next, this week, in this video, I'm hoping that this will be now, or will have its final layer on, and it's going to be going up the walls and over the top. So I'm really hoping that will make a huge difference. However, last week, they did do a couple of things. First one is this brick seating area. Originally, it went all the way to the other end, and I didn't want that, but... Here, it kind of made sense because the pipe you see coming out there is feeding directly to, or will do, to a soda water tank. And having it coming out horizontally rather than vertical means that there's a less chance of water getting in there. But that seat is just quite a nice little addition when it's finished. And of course, up here, there's going to be furniture and it's going to look really nice. There's so much I can do to it. And probably when the guys are finished, I'll start up here first. Oh yeah, they have managed to put a curve all the way around along the bottom where it joins with the wall and the floor. Good morning. Look, we've got this last layer going on now. It's the meshing with the Weber 824. You can see over there now, we've got the bench looking a lot better. Seeing it in the brick was a bit ugly. Pretty damn cool. 
So he's going to let that go off a little bit after he's done it. And then we'll have a thicker layer going over the top. And hopefully when it's all dried, we'll be ready for the tiles to go on. And he's going up the walls as well. Right, while he's doing that, back down to the well. Thankfully, I've got some help with the larger rocks. Wise. Well done boys, you did well. Yes you did. <laughs> so there's no way, there was no way I was gonna be able to lift those heavier rocks. Not in my current condition. So I've got them down here, really close to the lip of where I wanna roll them in. So that's gonna make my life a lot easier. I'll put a little bit of gravel down, then I'll do one row of the bigger rocks. Uh, if this works, then I'll just stack them up and hopefully it will look like a wall. Now, I'm a little bit concerned at the moment because the stones are very different looking than the ones I'm using around the well. They've got these holes all over them. They're really nice rocks, actually. You can see those very different to the ones around the well. And in the past, I've done hundreds of meters of walls on the previous houses, pretty much similar to how I've done around there. And 
once I've got one row in, if if it doesn't work, then I'll just uh, walk away and I'll never come back down here again and I won't have to look at it. No, I'll get one row in and if it really doesn't work, I'll take them back out again and then I'll cement them in. But I want to try and do it dry, something slightly different for me. I think it will work and look quite good. We'll see. Uh, looks like, though, we're going to get quite a lot of cloud for the next couple of days. So I'll make the most of it now. I'll show you a little bit of blue sky. I feel the drops of rain it's Thursday afternoon now and I guess really what I want to try and do is lay out the larger stones if I can do that now before the rain really comes then I can just step back rest my back a little bit and next week continue with this so those larger ones just want to plonk those down there see if I can get a nice line and hopefully it'll look pretty good Okay, as much as I really do want to continue doing this, I am certainly not going to do myself any more injuries. I've got to get over this and I'm certainly not doing it for content either. I'm happy with that, just that I can't push them anymore. Um, it is a slight bow in there, but I can come back to that one. I really just wanted to see what the stones look like in contrast to the well itself. 
and I'll just show you exactly what I mean. I don't know whether I've already said this before. I never know when I'm repeating myself until afterwards because for you it's a few seconds, but for me it's like days between when I'm talking. Uh, you can see the holes in there. It's very common to see that type of rock all over the hills when you're driving around. And of course here, these on the well are from the hill here. But I think that's going to work really well. Really well. Yeah. It's just how well I'm going to be able to uh, build this dry. And so they've got it interlocked as well as I possibly can make them so it doesn't fall apart. As long as it kind of leans more into the bank, we'll be all right. And next week I want to get this completely finished along there. But I'm not going to be able to do that if I don't stop. So let's go and have a look at the house and see how far the guys have got. It's on days like now when it's cloudy that everything just looks 10 times worse. Bloody awful. But it will all be great. We don't get many days like this. A little bit of a precaution down there. And uh, this section here, I've only just really looked at this. There was a crack going all the way along where they took the roof off and they could have taken the top piece off, but then they would have had to rebuild it. So it made sense to do it this way. Now they can get right in that wall. And by the time they're finished, you won't notice it. It will look brand new as well up here. Now, granted, they perhaps should have done this a day or two earlier, but you know what? It's not going to rain much. That darker patch over there, that's the second layer. And I'm going to try and zoom in. That concrete chair. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go all the way along. But you know what? If I don't have furniture up, up here for a while, then I've got something to sit on, which is really nice. And it's all going to blend in perfectly. Next couple of weeks, there's going to be a lot of changes. And I will continue to video. You won't miss any of that. And inside, we will definitely be taking that wall down for sure. It really has changed quite a lot in there, but I'm saving that till next week. Thank you to everybody who has been uh, concerned me not putting a video out last week. I uh, I guess I should have put a shot out there. Ordinarily, I think I've done that once before, so I, I know I can do that. Um, but I don't often not put a video out. I appreciate the last one wasn't that long ago, but take it that if I don't put a video out, there's a very good reason. And I do still keep putting images up on Instagram, so you'll know I'm still alive and kicking. And in this particular case, well, you know what? I am doing absolutely everything myself. And sometimes it's just not possible. Down in the bus laying on my back was the last thing on my mind. I've been walking the dogs, obviously, and coming up here to check on the guys. But other than that, I've just been trying to take it easy last week. But we'll be back to normal next week. We'll get some blue skies. In the meantime, I'm going to go and rest down by the bus uh, after I've uh, uh, fed, walked the dogs, had a shower, cooked some food. Then I'll go down there and chill out a little bit and we'll carry on on Sunday. That's where you'll be joining me. And that, of course, will be in next Saturday's video. So thanks again for watching and being patient. Take care, look after yourselves and stay positive. We'll get some blue skies. Found some blue sky for you, Saturday afternoon.